hitters on the inside half of the plate. And Kane launches one deep left and long gone. Home run for Lorenzo Kane as he jumps on Quintana, his ninth home run of the year. And that's how you start a ball game. Boy, just how things were in batting practice. We were watching earlier. The ball was flying out of the friendly confines. Prime afternoon to add to that total, and there it is. Left field, long gone. Another home run. The Brewers have two this inning and grab an early 3-0 lead against Jose Quintana. Boy, after a tough loss on Sunday to the Braves, game plan for Craig Council. Be up there being an aggressive early. Can't be afraid to throw that ball inside that box. And a strikeout for Shasin to start. Another strikeout for Shasin. Here's the one two. Struck him on. Looking. Just caught the inside corner. And two down. Shasin, how about that for a play? Yo, Lee Shasin, big smile on his face. Brian Braun will tell you, I think, if you're Craig Council, and he's done it again. Look at that one fly. Second home run and as many at bats. Over the bleachers, and Ryan Braun gives Milwaukee a 5 nothing advantage. What a start for Milwaukee. And Ryan Braun is 35th career home run here at Wrigley Field. Makes no sense, right? A guy with a career ERA of 092 going into this start against the Brew Crew. And Rizzo into that shift. Perez strong throw in time. What a play by Perez. In shallow right, had to go find the ball. He had no time to set himself. And a cold strike three. Look at this hard breaking ball. Buckles Baez. 3-2 called strike three and a big strikeout for Shasin to start the fifth inning. And another strikeout for Shasin. This one hit long and far right field. And this one all the way back for another home run today for Milwaukee. And Eric Kratz gets into home run swing with two down here in the sixth inning. Long ball for the Brew Crew. Tuesday afternoon, wind blowing out. We touched on it here in batting practice earlier. The ball was flying out of Wrigley. The stretch in the 3 2. Oh, oh, strike oh, oh, oh. Nope, nope, nope. And rarely he, argues, and when he does, he's pretty much always right. Because he did not throw him out. Joe Madden coming out to protect him. And once Zobris turns on you as an umpire, you're thinking, I got it wrong. And Zobris done for the day having a conversation with Phil Cuzzy. Oh, and he, and he just threw got him out. Yeah, well, it was oh. a it was a long conversation. Was it I, ever? I'm surprised because he uh, uh, allowed him to stay there as long as he did. It looked like it wasn't particularly heated for the longest time, but wow, uh, that I, was the whole uh, commercial break. Yeah, Ben went out there with a mission that uh, you know Joe went out in support of him and got ran, and I think Joe said, "Well, he was coming out of the game uh, for Russell anyway, so I think he was going to go out there and just have his peace with Cousy and." and Go ahead and, and almost invite the ejection. Take a flyer on him in the offseason. There's the pitch that saved him all day. Backdoor breaking ball. And that 91 to 93 looks a lot more firm in Velo. And a great play there by Kristen Yelich, too. So not only getting some swings and misses, but great defense from Perez and a really nice play from Kristen Yelich on that sinking liner. And another strikeout for Yolish Chassin. His 10th, that is a season high for the Brewer Hurler. Playoff spot, that much more. Kratz down the left field line. Fair ball all the way into the corner. Another run coming in. 
And Mustakis held that second and RBI double for Kratz. Two very good last two plate appearances for the Brewer catcher. Brewers hang on and they're up 7 0. A two game lead, the other two divisions separated by just. And that's it for the eighth time in the first 12 games of this season series. A shutout.